Outer Streets of Jai, First Piece, 1926, Oil on Canvas, a size 40 canvas. This work was done during Chen's third year at Tokyo Fine Art School, and this painting was selected to the 7th Japan Empire Art Exhibition. The reviewers of the Empire Exhibition Committee appreciated the tropical island scenery as shown in this picture as it presented a strong atmosphere of the countryside. It appeared as though the road was under construction because almost half of the surface of it was full of pits and holes. The other half looked bright and smooth with more people walking along it. The section of the road under construction had small paths, which people utilized with care. Also, over the gully, planks were used as makeshift bridges. The shade under the planks give us a good idea of how deep the gully was. It is also possible that perhaps a drainage system was being put in at the time. The electrical poles on both sides of the street were carefully arranged by Mr. Chen in order to better establish the horizon along the small narrow road. There is a long line of people moving along the road on the same side as the houses. To the left side is the big banyan tree of the Wenling Matsu Temple, where people usually gathered together. This village is nearby the west gate as well as Chen's house. Therefore, it is no surprise that Chen drew three of his works in this general area. It was said that this picture was a gift to the government, yet it had been lost until now. Chen Tempo spent three consecutive years on three pieces of work entitled Outer Streets of Jiayi. The one drawn in 1926 was permitted to be displayed at the Empire Exhibition. This was a very significant event for Taiwanese, for it was the first time there had been Taiwanese paintings displayed at the Empire Exhibition in colonial times. The three paintings were all different scenes along Guohua Street and from different points along Chuiyang Road. At that time, it was still a suburb of Jiayi City. During the 1960s, Chuiyang Road had been converted from a big stream into a large avenue with six lanes constructed for the purpose of connecting east and west.